Okay, so I just saw, well, well, I've been watching it a few times, the Grand Theft Auto 5 gameplay, and I thought I'd give you my thoughts on it. This probably won't be very long, maybe a couple minutes, but it is exactly what I thought it was going to be. It basically, to me anyway, it looks like Max Payne 3 open world. Well, you know, the Max Payne 3 open world. You know, they've took the Max Payne 3... I don't know the engine if they took the Max Payne 3 engine, but it basically looks like Max Payne 3 open world. That's what it looks like to me. And it... Nothing especially wowed me, apart from a few bits at the end. But it does seem really cool. And, you know, the graphics... Everything's in-game. Like, the graphics look exactly the same as they did from the trailers. So that's really cool. And, uh... Yeah, I mean... So you can, so the switching between the three characters does look pretty cool. It's cool that you can just change at any time, obviously. And, uh, but I'm still a bit worried about how that's going to work. Because I'm worried that I'm going to miss out on stuff. I'm like, well, I want to do this and I want to do this. You know, you know, like they said, if you don't like flying a helicopter, you can go on the gun. But I want to do both. I like quite like doing both. So that's a bit of a worry for me. But now I'm not going to say anything, I'm going to say, I'm going to hold, I'm still holding my judgement to the game actually releases. I don't get hyped for games until they're released. Until the day it comes out, then I start to get excited for it. Because of all, you know, that's just how I do. The mini games look cool, I guess. I don't know, I, they, they sounded like they were supposed to be, they were going to make them like really good, but they don't look anything special. Um, they, you can do mountain biking, which looks cool, <laughs> looks as good as like, like the mountain bike games, like Tour de France games. Um, it looks like Grand Theft Auto still, because, you know, they got the same text, the same... They've changed the mini-map from a, from a circle to a square, which is cool. Um, you know, you can do parachuting. The flying, I'm not sure on yet. Um, Trevor looks awesome. Trevor looks the most fun, obviously. I mean, that's just how it goes. I mean... I mean, they changed to, you can, so the, essentially you, when you want to change characters, it just, basically, there's like this bit in right, bottom right hand corner, obviously, um, and you can switch between, and you choose what character you want to be, and it basically zooms out, kind of like Driver San Francisco did, um, and then it will basically put you right into what they were doing, so it's cool, because it's cool that Trevor, essentially, is driving, he's in a police chase, it's crazy, that's really cool, you know, you change him, he's in a police chase, you're like, whoa, you know, that's pretty cool, um, now, the, the, the coolest part for me was, you can go around for thought of games exploring, they say there's lots of stuff to see, which is cool, um, um, they showed a tiny bit of multiplayer, right in the end, and, that, now, I'm a bit worried, because I'm not sure how many players are in the multiplayer. It's really cool, they show loads of helicopters, they show uh, a jet flying by, and they said, you know, wait till to see the next multiplayer trailer. See the multiplayer trailer. Um, and I'm worried about it, because I hope there's more than 16 players. Because in Grand Theft Auto 5 it was alright, Grand Theft Auto 4, because the world wasn't that big. It was big, but it wasn't insanely big. And in Red Dead Redemption... There wasn't enough players. There were 16 players. I don't think it was enough, personally. You know, it was all right, but it would have called to have 32. If this only has 16 players, then what the hell? They need more than 16 players. This map's supposed to have Red Dead Redemption, Grand, Fe Grand GTA San Andreas, Grand Theft Auto 4 all put into one. How are they going to have 16 players only? I hope there are more. There needs to be at least 32 players. Um, it would be cool if they even went higher than that, but I don't think they're going to go higher than 32 if they're going to do 32 at all. And now, they showed, like, you can... What's really cool, I like that. I like... This is something I like. You can, like... I love getting loads of money and buying every house in the game. I love doing that. Like, in Fable 2, I used to buy everything, and it was so freaking awesome. I like doing that a lot. Um, they also showed that you can... You know, you can either do a bank robbery. They show you that you go into, like... They look like there's, like, you have, like, a supervisor. Like, a another guy who's helping you set up the bank robberies. And you can choose who you want to go on the bank robberies with you. Like, another, like, three of you and then, like, another few people. That's what it looks like. And, um... 
you can either do it stealthily in a way, like they showed you putting gas into there and knocking out them or killing them, or you can just go in guns blazing. Now I'm wondering what the advantages of doing of both. I'm hoping there isn't like I'm hoping the it's the same because I hate it when well you can choose what you want to do apart from one gets penalised a lot, which is I hate that. That that's not a choice then. That's not really a choice. Um they showed underwater game, underwater diving, which looks cool. I mean, they haven't really showed enough. Um, I mean, the graphics look fine. They, it, it looks like Max Payne 3 Open World. That's what it looks like. Um, and so that's basically my thoughts on it. I mean, it looks good. I mean, when you can, it says, I think it says like Trevor can go hunting. It looks like Capella Dangerous Hunts. That's pretty funny. Um, the shooting looks cool. The animations look cool. Like the shooting looks like Max Payne 3. Um, the driving looks cool. The driving looks cool. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Um, and that's about it, really. I mean, I mean, it, the graphics are fine. The graphics are fine. Um, especially how big. So I heard some like some people in the comment section are like, "This is not PC. This is PC. Obviously, the graphics can't look this good." Oh. It's on PS3, that's why it looks so bad. It doesn't look bad. The graphics look the same as Max Payne 3, which is really good. The only thing I'm worried about is the fog, the draw distance. You know, that's the only thing I'm a bit worried about. Because hopefully you can go for Because I want to be able to, like, sit at this mountain and be able to see all the way down. Hopefully the draw distance is good. Um, it looks a bit foggy. But hopefully that's... It isn't really there, but um, so that's it. I mean, I'll probably do a multiplayer video if they show off multiplayer. I'll probably do a multiplayer impressions. You can, they've also made it so you can get tattoos now, which doesn't really bother me because I don't really care about um, you know, I don't really care about customizing character. I don't know, I'm not really blown away. I hold my judgment, it doesn't look as I mean, they said, like, oh, you can do this, you can do this, you can, like, oh, the free character swap changing is going to be a massive deal. It doesn't really look that big. Apart. The only things where it looks really cool is actually in the open world. In the missions, it looks kind of a bit, doesn't look that amazing. But, um, so, yeah, I think it's going to be probably really good. I just can't tell. I don't, so don't take this as anything I'm just saying, because I don't get hyped up to games until I play them, because... I just get that's how I'm like. Um, it does look really cool. I got a few worries, but it does look pretty cool. Uh, the problem is that I want like a proper. I want a proper, like a proper like ten minutes of gameplay, straight gameplay to see that. So um, yeah, it looks really good. Um, and that's that. I w I just want to see. I want to see like proper like proper, you know, like, 10 minutes, like, just walking around the streets, getting in a car, drive, stuff like that, and then I'll probably be blown away from that, because that's what I want to see, um, but yeah, it looks really good, hoping to see more, hoping they have more people, more players in the multiplayer than 16, and, yeah.